My name is Abby Steffen, and I'm a researcher at the Institute for Engaged Aging in the Department of Psychology at Clemson University in South Carolina in the U.S. Understanding family policy is a key piece of the equation for family scientists, as well as researchers more broadly. If the policies put forth are not based on robust data, they will likely be both ineffective and inefficient. And if research studies do not sufficiently account for relevant policy and its role in both everyday life and shifts over time, the findings will lack legitimacy and applicability. So in this way, thinking about policy implications when conducting research, as well as using existing research to inform new policy initiatives, ensures that the outputs are as effective and meaningful as possible for those that we're trying to impact. My own research focuses on human development across the lifespan, healthy aging, and intergenerational relationships, all of which are related to intergenerational solidarity. So in my work, I've seen that creating a more age-friendly society starts with creating a more family-friendly society. One way to accomplish this is through family policy that tackles areas related to caregiving, health care, employment, and finance. Policies in these areas are pertinent to aging and affect the ways in which individuals interact within their families and their communities. For example, research indicates that positive relationships with grandparents, which is often marked by both the amount and the quality of time spent together, leads to better outcomes for grandchildren and grandparents alike as well as better overall family functioning. So one way this can be accomplished that also supports the parent generation is through informal caregiving. However, many grandparents face financial barriers that require them to remain in the labor force, thus preventing them from providing routine care to their grandchildren. Policy solutions that allow for more grandparent-grandchild contact again, which is a social good based on evidence from numerous studies, could include initiatives like greater flexibility in formal employment as individuals near retirement or governmental compensation for informal caregiving. Once a new policy is in place or an old policy has been amended, researchers can then investigate its efficacy and provide recommendations that would promote optimal outcomes. Because existing policies related to these areas differ by nation, it's also important to consider the specific context in which the research is completed and the policy is enacted. So in conclusion, understanding not only policies themselves, but also the ways in which they impact individuals and families provides critical contextualized insight that allows for richer research to be conducted and translated to those most affected.